Salad spinners are kind of like tiny little washing machines set to the spin cycle. I wouldn't want to make a salad without one, and I wouldn't want to talk about them with anyone other than Adam Reed. That would be me. Hello, Bridget. <laughs> Let's discuss salad spinners. Yes. We have this lineup of seven different spinners here. The price range was about $16 up to almost $50. We included a redesign of our old favorite by OXO Good Grips here. Okay. And you know, they all have basically the same design. There is a perforated basket that sits inside of a solid bowl and you put the lid on. There's some kind of mechanism like a plunger or a crank or a pull cord or a lever that will spin the basket. The centrifugal force drives the moisture off of the greens, collects in the solid bowl. Bob's your uncle, your greens are dry. That's right. Maybe if it's a good salad ah. spinner. Testers tried this with a different assortment of greens, some tender spinach, baby spinach chopped up kale, spring green mix, and also leeks that had been chopped up and washed. Those are always really heavy. Yes. They can make them wobble. They measured the capacity of the baskets. They evaluated the mechanisms that make the baskets spin. And they also did uh, measured amounts of greens and water, spun them dry, and then weighed them at the end to see how much of that water had been driven off. Gotcha. I have to admit something. I have a little pet peeve about salad spinners. Really? Yes, I do. I'm getting old and cranky and <laughs> I, you know, washing greens is a necessary evil in the kitchen and if the capacity of the basket's too small and it forces more batches, that turns my crank, drives me crazy. And that leads us into discussing these two. They had the smallest baskets of all the spinners here. They're different brands and different colors, but aside from that, they're identical. Really? They're twins, yeah. And testers found not only did they have small baskets, but when they filled them up with the leeks that had been chopped and washed, the baskets were kind of flimsy. They would sort of begin to buckle a little when they lifted them up with leeks. This one has a central stem. I don't know if you can see that. It's like an angel food cake with a It does lip. look like a tube pan. Yeah. And this one only held about 63% of what the largest baskets in this lineup held because of this center stem ah. eating up all that space. Now, while I have it open, why don't you load some greens in there? Because I'm going to have you give this one a test. All right. Something I rarely do at home, and uh. that's touch kale. <laughs> so sorry to make you do that, Bridget. All right. Lids on. Give her a whirl. See what you think. Well, I would think that this is a plunger. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's a little little hieroglyphics here on top. Maybe that's, I don't know. Shouldn't a salad spinner be kind of a no-brainer? This one was not a no-brainer. You have to actually rotate the bowl. Uh, it pops up on the stem, and then you push the whole thing down. Okay, well, that's kind of fun. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to have to take an IQ test before I spend my salad. Testers were not impressed with this either. This model operates with a lever that you press down. Like that. Yeah, that's not so bad, but check this out. We're going to lock that back down uh -huh. there, like so. Stop it with the brake. And then when you want to release it, boom! It's like a catapult. <laughs> Testers didn't love that one. So this guy in front of you with the black top has a pull cord. Oh, it's like a lawnmower. It's like Saturday morning. Exactly. Testers were not wild about that. They didn't really like the pulling motion. They were afraid that if the kitchen was crowded or there was a kid running through or something, you could elbow them by mistake. Ooh. Also, they didn't like that the bowl wasn't see-through, so you oh, couldn't yeah. really see what was right. going on. This one here, what do you think of that one? I think it looks kind of cute. I'm calling that the refugee from the Dr. Seuss kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> That's got this side mounted crank. It actually worked just fine. Mm -hmm. But the manufacturer calls this a space saver. How is that possible? With this right. weird offset crank. This one was actually kind of awkward to store. And that leads us back to the OXO where we started, which has a plunger in the center and a non-skid base so that you can actually use it single handedly, which is really nice. And I love the brake. And the brake works really well. Now, this one also excelled at the name of the game, which is drying greens. Mm -hmm. When testers tested this with a measured amount of greens and water, spun them dry, and then weighed the liquid and the greens, this was the only spinner to get all of the liquid off every single time. And it kept them dry because the bowl can accommodate a cup and three quarters of liquid at the bottom, the stuff that runs off the greens, without touching the bottom of the basket. So the greens stay elevated, they stay dry. So this was, in fact, our winner. It was the winner the last time, it's the winner this time, it's the OXO Good 
grip salad spinner. It's about $30. We have one minor quibble with this. Oh. And that is that you can see the central stem yes. extends down about two inches into the basket. So if you overstuff it, you might end up bruising some of your more delicate greens and it takes a little space. But that quibble aside, this is the salad spinner to take out for a spin, Bridget. I love it. Well, there you go. Why not get the winning salad spinner? It's the OXO Good Grip Salad Spinner and it retails for about $30. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.